you for tuning in to another Zodiac reading by me, the goddess Ayoka. I am going to be focusing on Capricorn tonight. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. It has went by so fast, but I am truly blessed and I hope that you guys are blessed to be able to see another day in excellent health, feeling good mentally, emotionally, physically, and all of that good stuff. Now, um, this, this is a collective reading for you guys, so keep in mind that everything in it might not resonate. Take what you need, leave what you don't need, okay? Because someone out there will need this message. And um, make sure you are literally try to find your balance um, or be grounded as you're listening to this reading. Make sure your heart chakra is open because spirit has a message for you. And I don't want you to be able to miss you know, not be able to hear the message or to miss the message um, because of um, having a lot on your mind or a heavy heart or anything of that nature. So take the moment to breathe, to breathe and get yourself grounded. If you need to log off and come back on um, because this is a recorded video, you will be able to do so. Um, take that time to do it and um, come back, you know, set your intentions and get ready because my spirit guys don't play you guys. They come with the message and the message is intended to give you some hope and some clarity and understanding, but also to, it's for you to take heed to the message. It's advice, it's intuitive advice to help you to get through your situations. Um, and I thank you so much for tuning in, subscribing, liking my channel and all of that wonderful stuff all of your energy that you put into this channel is highly welcome because it helps my videos to reach more and more people the more and more you tune in you like and you share um you subscribe you know so thank you for paying it forward and putting and depositing back into me energetically so that's why i also need you guys to be level and grounded in your energies because energy is very fluent now to keep in mind that this is going to be a general reading so um i'm going to really pretty much just cover whatever the cards are you know whatever cards flip out that's what i'm talking about whatever wherever spirit feels led to speak on that's where i'm going at with this reading um it, the reading could represent past present or future energies it could be talking directly to you or it could be several messages speaking to the collective now, if you need a personal reading, feel free to reach out to me. I do have an IG page, um, The Lightworker Society. Click the link in my bio and you'll be able to look at what I have to offer. Now, that information will be in the detail box below. I have set my intentions. I cleaned my space. Um, I'm feeling, you know, I had a long day. I had quite a few clients today. But I just wanted to be able to read for you guys. I do have some instrumentals playing in the background just to keep my energy flowing and to keep my energy up. So I'm going to turn it down some. So give me a moment. I'm going to try to multitask here. My cursor is going all over the place right now. I don't know what's going on. It's the energy. It's the energy. But I can't actually click on anything right now because my cursor is going every, everywhere. So, um... Let's just set the intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my um, spiritual guides for helping me with this message tonight. Thank you for guiding me and using me as the messenger, helping me to deliver a message that my audience will be able to understand. I ask for support um, from my angelic guides um, that are full of wonderful and good intentions, hope and love and bright lights and all of that wonderful, amazing stuff. I thank you for the connection and I thank you for closing the spiritual gates to anything that is not of divine will or divinely um, connected to this reading as well. That anyone that is not in alignment with what I am trying to do, this purpose or what um, the purpose of my collectives are... Um, obtaining i ask that you block it and you make it not available for those who are not ready um and thank you so much for using me as the messenger once again and so it is peace i'm sorry you guys i'm really like mind boggled at why my system is going haywire right now everything i've push it's just going crazy and i never touched it i've never had this problem before but now all of a sudden it's all over the place 
Give me back my jazz or my smooth beats something. Let's go. All right, you guys. Thank you, my spirit guides. What is the message that you have for Capricorn tonight? What is it that they need to hear? Doing a mean ass shuffle, y'all. <laughs> I'm getting some flippers here, but the thing is, is they're not flipping out. They're just flipping within the shuffle. <laughs> but I need them to at least pop out or come out a little bit more so I know I can be guided correctly. I don't want to just be pulling stuff. I like my cards to jump out because it's like, it feel like it's intuitively coming directly from my guides. I need that. I need that. I don't like to, I don't like to pull the cards myself. <clears throat> Hostilities. What is going on with my system, you guys? It is not, it is really like not showing me no love right now. Maybe I want to just turn it up just a notch. Cause I'm getting ready to get in. I feel like it's kind of loud. I'm getting ready to go in. I can already feel it challenging, channeling, channeling energies. All right. So the first card that came out for you guys was hostility, right? Now, we already know that hostility card is literally like self-explanatory right now. Just by looking at it, just by it's like, oh, what's going on with you guys? So it's some hostilities that are definitely um, around you or maybe it's you. You know, like your defenses is up or it's some aggressive energy that um is taking place right now in your situation it could be towards you um you could have already encountered these hostility hostility because like i said um this energy could be past present or um future energies but something has happened something has definitely happened it happened past previously or is about to come up and these aggressive energies may be verbal or emotional of some sort and it's with someone in your actual environment who is being excessively critical demanding or hurtful now in a work or social situation this could definitely speak on like somebody may be backstabbing you or some out and out slander that's really going on and um the difference between this card and the deceit card, because it's so funny because the deceit card literally peeped this head. It showed, I, I seen it. I looked at it. It caught my eye. Matter of fact, it it came out um, when I first shuffled. The de uh, shuffled the deceit card was what was shown. But the difference between the hostility in that card is that um, this these energies, these hostile energies are more apparent. Where the deceit card, it's like, it's hidden. Now... The point is, is you've been living with these hostilities for some time now. But whether this is new or old energy, it's really time for you to regain control. Okay? Because Spirit is saying when you allow this honor and treatment from others, and um, it's an open invitation, literally. An open invitation is just risky. And you don't want that because it's sending out a message to the universe. And you don't want to allow this honor and treatment to take place, you know, in your situations or in your relationships, because you're just going to keep inviting that energy into you and that the hostilities have to see. So it's time for you literally to have some courage and stand up for yourself. If you're not speak up or speak your truth, either way it goes, 
Spirit is saying now it's time for you to bring some harmony like towards your own self because you deserve that in your life. You don't have to deal with um, anyone who has those type of negative energies or vibrations because, um, yeah, yeah, nobody wants to deal with that. So regain your control and set your boundaries. Set some boundaries. I want to see what these hostilities um, could be about. So I'm going to go and pull some supporting cards from my tarot deck. Now, my tarot deck, um, which I love this one, is the Light Seers deck. <clears throat> and um, they have some wonderful pictures on there. Ooh, I can't even get the question out. And the cards are flipping. <laughs> I'm going to see what those cards are about. They could be regarding this one. Um, want this first card but i still want to get the question out <laughs> i swear what are these hostilities about it's a lot of cards jumping i'm telling you <laughs> So these are my two cards that were not <clears throat> my first jumpers. I don't want to speak about those first. So the next card that came out was the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see if you guys can see it. I'm sorry, I paused for a moment. I had to really think, like, is this what I want to, how do I want to go with this? Now, I'm sorry, this thing is messing up my whole vibe. Let me, I'm going to pause real quick and then I'll come back to you guys because I don't know what is going on with my system. Like, literally, my music is jumping all over the place. I cannot do anything with my um, keypad and I can't stop it and it's distracting. So, I'll be right back. Give me one second, you guys. I'm so sorry about that, you guys. My, I had to literally call um, my computer guy to help me because my computer went on a blitz. As you can see, the YouTube channel, the music just kept jumping from song to song. My cursor wouldn't keep still. I couldn't even find it on the computer. The pages, like different pages and apps kept opening up. And this is a brand new computer. So that was really interesting. Like, I just really take it as the energies are extremely, like, fluent right now um, for you guys. So I'm back, and I didn't want to have to start all over from the beginning. I don't even know where I left off because um, I have literally been gone for maybe two or three hours trying to figure this out. And, of course, my laptop is still down. He said it's going to take the rest of the night. <laughs> So I did go pick up my son in the meantime from work. And so if you do hear some laughing and loud noises in the background, we have our door shut, honey. But let me tell you, he on that video game and he has no idea or concept of how loud he can really get. Um, even no matter how much I'd be like, quiet down, I'm recording or I'm doing this. But the card, um, the first card I pulled out was the hostility card and it was in the upright position. So it's like definitely telling you, um, I wanted to find out, you know, more about this hostility card and seeing what it was in reference to, right? So, you know, I like to get the breakdown, the elaboration from my tarot. Um, but the Four of Pentacles card is what came out. And basically, when the Four of Pentacles comes out in reverse, it's kind of really trying to get you to reevaluate a certain situation. So whatever the situation is or whoever is pertaining, it's time for you to really figure out what's important to you, um, especially when it comes to this situation, when it comes to your money, when it comes to your finances as well. Because at some point, you may be placing too much value um, on this. 
and really like the material factor of it it won't make you happy and you gotta really figure it out because that won't make you happy but love will make you happy I mean, because you know love is the highest vibration of all. So it's always good to be able to at least try to balance it. But don't place so much emphasis on the um, your possessions. And um, maybe this is what this situation could be pertaining. It could be pertaining to, containing, um, pertaining to, you could be holding on too tightly to something or something like that. Um, some of you may be compelled to really take and declutter your home. Um, or even minimize your lifestyle. But at this point, it's like money should no longer be a priority to you. And that is what I'm getting. So this hostility definitely could be surrounding something with your um, your money, your material possessions. Um, and it's... And it's like you're redefining your relationship with that. Um, now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a love relationship, of course, you know, but any type of um, relationship, it could, if it resonates with you, could be um, in regards to that. And it's like you got this feeling of like your money is literally like slipping through your fingers at this moment. And or you could be kind of like unconsciously hoping that it's going to bring you some type of happiness. But all it does is just keep bringing you more stress, more anxiety, um, as your bank balances start to decline. And, um, hmm. And this is really interesting because it's like to have these feelings, um, that's usually how it, like how it happens. Like, it's so interesting how... Even with my situation, when it comes to my financial standpoint, like if my money isn't right or I feel like, you know, I could be making more or doing more. Or if I look at my bank account and it looking, it's looking kind of low or it gets to a certain point, I get anxious to the point where it causes me to feel um, I, I'm kind of angry. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I mean, but who who wouldn't? It kind of throws me off my whole mood. It kind of makes me feel un, unstable. Um. And it's only because I have this strong desire for security and stability in my life, right? <clears throat> so, I'm, I, you know, and I'm like, I'm doing everything within my power to create this stable environment for myself. And it seems to be so many things that's coming up against me that is keeping me from being able to bring this balance and this harmony that I need. Now, oh, okay. Yeah, now, okay, I'm catching up because I was like, wait a minute, I got all these cards <laughs> laid down in front of me and I'm like what in the world but literally um spirit laid out a whole spray for me right for this one hostility card <laughs> the next card that came out was the seven of swords in reverse <clears throat> so you guys can see it and basically on this card it's like it's a man looking real sneaky <laughs> running away from a situation with a knife in his hand it's almost like an imposter or um, it could represent some type of self-deceit or maybe keeping some type of secrets. So, <clears throat> woo. It, it all lines up. That's why I love doing these readings because it tells this story and then you start to better understand like, uh oh, that makes sense. So, <clears throat> even you're feeling like this other person could be a fraud, right? <laughs> And either you feel like there's some type of situation going on within yourself, you could you could be the one <laughs> that's the imposter in this situation. But either way, um, don't doubt yourself and don't doubt your abilities. So even like for example, if you have started a new business and you ask yourself, you question like, who am I to be doing this? But that's just basically fear-based talking, right? So you got to get out of your head and trust that you have everything you need to make a, make this new venture a success. You have everything that it takes to do this. Even if it's down to, if you're starting, um, if you're moving in your divine life purpose, starting a new spiritual practice, or, you know, trying to operate in your gifts. And like, I just started, well, I, I started um, painting again. I've always loved painting. And I, every day I'm, I'm practicing and I'm putting my energy into it. And sometimes I mess up on my painting and I have to keep reminding myself, like, I am an artist. I have what it takes to do this. I can create, you know, 
artwork that is um, intentionally amazing and people will love it, right? So I have to keep telling myself because sometimes, you know, when I mess up, I get in my mind and be like, damn, maybe, you know, I'm struggling at this. Why well, I can't get it? Maybe, you know, I need to just stick to what I know. No, I want to challenge myself because I know that I have what it takes to make this, um, to make this side of myself manifest. Like this is a part of who I am. So yeah, I'm ready to you know, really honor that side of me and show the world what I am capable of doing because I can do it. So I just constantly kind of keep trying to talk myself um, and also vibrationally feel it as well. Now, some of you could be trying to trick yourself into believing something even though it's out of integrity with your true self. So don't try to fool yourself that everything is okay when it's not. You got to get real with um, where you are and confront your situation head on because it creates this um, energy with inside of you that makes you hostile or anxious. So don't keep any secrets. Just be speak your truth, right? Don't harbor any dark secrets that you hope will never be revealed about the situation. Um, speak your truth because it's just bringing you stress and it's bringing tension along with deeper feelings of, you know, some type of guilt or some type of shame or maybe the hostility. And the thought of confessing this may be horrifying, but it's going to free you, right? It liberates you from the negative emotions that you're experiencing. The, one, the, one, the ones that keep you feeling or operating vibrationally low. Just forgive yourself um, and confide in someone you trust. You will know doubt feels so much lighter as a result of doing this. Now, some of y'all, you know, some of this hostility could be coming from a relationship standpoint. I'm sorry to say, and I'm going to just speak it how it is, right? Some of y'all are involved in an affair or some type of extra um, marital relationship, okay? Um, you probably are starting to feel uncomfortable with this situation. And you much rather come out in the open with it. And this is where this hostility could be coming from as well. And um, mm, a Knight of Wands um, is showing up. Now, this Knight of Wands, of course, definitely could represent um, this person who you're feeling hostility towards, or it could represent you. But when it's in an upright position, it's representing, you know, energy, passion, action. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you guys. Where's my water? I got one here on the floor. You know when, you know, as a reader sometimes and you get the talking, you just get this frog in your throat and all of a sudden your throat get extremely dry. <laughs> it happens. But, you know, I'm going to keep going. So don't mind me if you hear that I'm slowing down at some point. I'm drinking my water, but I'm here with you. Now, <clears throat> you're definitely charged up with some type of energy, some type of passion and motivation, this enthusiasm. All of this stuff is like you're channeling this energy through your inspired action, right? You've got a clear vision about what you want, how you want to create it. It's, it's, you're so inspired right now to move forward with, you know, leaping forward fast because you want to turn this vision into reality. So if this is regarding like some type of new business that you're starting or whatever the new venture is that you're starting, you are being signaled to really go for it. Go for it because this is the time and this is going to help you to feel more bold and more courageous in your venture. You know, who doesn't want to go after their dreams and fulfill their dreams, you know? And that also could literally create some confusion too if someone else is involved because sometimes going after your dreams or your divine life purpose it sometimes it don't always start off making you the financial the money that you need you know what i'm saying it's like Ugh, how can i do this as a full-time thing and it's not really supporting me the way that i need in this real life like this real my real my 3d life but um, like even now what I'm doing, I'm getting called and I'm getting pushed and signal and signs. I mean, this universe is synchronizing the crap out of this about me really um, moving into my divine purpose as a spiritual advisor. And I'm like, you know, I'm a full time professor. So it's like that's where my income is coming from, too. So I'm like, oh, how do I do this? But right now I'm in the stages of learning my gifts and how I want to go about doing this 
and still moonlighting. So as you can see, it's 12 o'clock at night and I'm, I'm moonlighting and I do still have to get up tomorrow and facilitate four different classes. But sometimes that's what it takes in order for you to be able to manifest and to grow and to be a pioneer in um, your skills. So, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> Ooh, sorry so you know just really reevaluate okay reevaluate um and it's a good thing because you're committed to your vision and your purpose and you're, you're going to literally stop at nothing to bring this forth literally and as you pursue your goals your confidence will skyrocket and trust me like you're going to feel really good because you are moving in your divine life purpose and you're listening to your higher self and that's what brings you into alignment because you're doing what you love you're connected to what it is that you want to do and you should because you can do anything especially if you are so passionate and enthusiastic about it Now, be mindful because, like, the Knight of Wands, really, they can express themselves as an act first, think later type of person. So, in your pursuit of your action, try not to be impulsive or impatient, but expect that everything um, will get done, okay? Don't expect that it's going to be done in the same day, all at once. It's, it's a process. It takes time. It takes time. So try not to have that feeling to rush it. Because you need to really think about everything that's involved, who's all involved, so it won't be any negative consequences. Now, you got to have a clear plan. You have to be able to strategize what you're doing so it will not hurt your chances of your long-term success. Now, if this resonates with you, Find a way to focus your enthusiasm on the activities that will move you closer to your goals, to your divine life purpose. That's how you know you're on the right track. And when you have a new idea, rather than acting on it straight away, take a moment to check in and see if it truly aligns with your goals and whether it needs to happen right now. You see how I'm, I'm, I told you guys I was like taking my steps and gradually moving and transitioning and growing myself personally and in my professional life as well. Now, if you feel like the time is now, just stay vibrant and consistently ask for help and just really try to keep your strategy and your plan and your ideas um, aligned with your goals, okay? So keep that in mind um, because you want to be able to manifest <clears throat> this dream and you don't want to have, you know, any obstacles. You don't want to have any anxieties or stress or have hostilities involved. You know, you don't need any of that negative energy to be messing all up with, you know, messing your plans up. Like you got things to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's all about um, positively manifesting this because I don't know if you're feeling like, you know, I can't act on this because of wherever this hostility is coming from this situation it, it's like you think it might create some type of lost opportunity because the ace of pentacles um has came out i don't know if i can get this card on here but I'm gonna try to make room for it but the ace of pentacles card came out right but the it's in reverse it's in a reverse status and um it's like you're feeling hesitant to move forward with this offer or this invitation or this opportunity. You might even be catching yourself second guessing the timing or doubting whether you have what it takes. Again, it's like realizing you have what it takes. You literally do. You have what it takes to do this. These ideas don't come to you out of nowhere. They're divinely sent.
So just really, you know, I don't know if something has fell through already. Um, an opportunity, maybe you were looking for a pay raise, a new job, a loan or a business offer or something. I don't know if this already has unexpectedly fell through um, or the other person or party involved might have retracted without any type of explanation to why. Um, but you know how the saying goes, right? You don't count your chickens before they actually hatch. So if you get an offer or have gotten that offer, you, you know, you have learned. But if you do get an offer, wait until the money is actually in your bank account before spending it. Be very careful with your expenditures, okay? That's why it's telling you to slow down. It's not like, wait, but it's like, slow down, reevaluate the situation because whatever had taken place is creating some, created some type of hostilities between you and another party. Now, mm, even if you feel these delays are, um, coming up against you, um, really just realign your goals, strategize, plan, do not have lack of planning or foresight, do not charge ahead without validating whether, you know, it's a need for what you're trying to do, spend more time in the planning stages and take in consideration that um, what the financial aspects are of your new venture. Now, we have plenty of time, right, to do that right now because we're in the middle of a pandemic. Things are moving slow. Things are shutting back down and the weather is transitioning. So while we're home, take the time to do that planning and all of that other great stuff so that you can really break out in the spring and make the shit happen. The Queen of Pentacles came out, but it came out in reverse. I'm gonna lay it down flat because it's like I'm forcing the cards to sit up on that little easel and I have no more <laughs> room. But you have, it's in reverse. So it's just basically like you have this need for your financial independence, right? And you can see that it's all lined up just, just on that side alone of my um, easel. It's showing like there's so much need for you to want to um go after your goals and be independent but you need to focus on nurturing um yourself turn all of that energy especially your caring energy into yourself because as you are trying to create this financial independence for yourself um and this new lifestyle this new business this new opportunity You need to ensure that you can sustain, you need to ensure that you can, I can't get that out, I'm so tongue twisted, but you need to be sure that you can sustain this lifestyle. Whoa, why I struggle with that? Some of y'all ain't, ain't want to hear that. <laughs> y'all ain't want to hear that. So that's the problem. That's the problem what's taking place. It's something going on with some type of partnership or something in the family. Um that's taking place and you're not sure if you can do this by yourself yeah so continue to nurture yourself on a personal level take care of yourself be well grounded practice your self-care i mean that goes down to not just getting them nails done the queen of pentacles she sits out into nature and she meditates and she she um she goes within and that's what she she's doing on the card take that time to do that it also involves preparing nutritious meals okay going on retreats just paying more attention to yourself and your own needs tending to yourself knowing that you have to do that in order to be able to care for others you have to put yourself first and trust that work or your family will survive without you for just a little bit while you focus on yourself, they'll be fine. All of that stuff will be fine. Take that time and go with them because you are in the process of trying to manifest something great. You're, you're working in and trying to maintain your own financial stability and also create more finances. Yeah. 
there's no balance. You're out of balance at this moment and you're consumed. Okay. So it's time for you to really get back into balance. So these hostilities can start to relieve and move out. But you have to, you know, the ultimate goal at the end is really to integrate your work in your home life to create that balance. What I say, that moonlighting, right? <laughs> now, as you can see, the next card that came out was the Rest and Rejuvenation card. So I don't even got to go into this one because the Queen of Pentacles said it all. Said it all. So I was already speaking it before I even got to it. Now, the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, is what came out. Don't fall, please. And the number on that card is 41. So the number four talks about creation. And number one talks about the divine. Four plus one equals five. And that's grace. But this is about your spiritual connections, your intuition, right? Your inspiration. This is what this reading is talking about. It's talking about your passion, being connected to the divine. And your seventh energy center, um, that seventh chakra, is your intuition. You are open right now. Like, you are so free-flowing with inspiration from the spirit world. This is where this is coming from. Remember earlier in the reading, I was like, these ideas that are coming to you are divinely sent. That's why you know you're good. You're going to be good because this is all coming from the divine. This is a part of who you are and what you're supposed to be doing and contributing into this world. Your higher awareness is on fleet right now. I don't even know if they use that goddamn word no more. But your higher self is literally like tuned in, tapped in. So you got to allow yourself to quiet your mind and just listen. Go into the Queen of Pentacles mood. This is about your money, honey. This is about your divine life purpose. This is about you leveling up. Okay, because you got the presence of an ascendant master, a powerful angel like Uriel that's in your presence. Or even if it's just your loving friends, your family members and spirit, their love and willingness to assist you is always there. You have the support that you need right now. Your connection is open now and you will find that your own spirit and the spirits of those around you are going to be willing to work for you and provide the answer that you seek and the blessing that you desire and you deserve. This seven chakra is all the way open. So lean on spirit and continue to, you know, do your healing work, continue to do your self-care and your nurturing because that's what it's all about. I'm going to pull from my monology deck really quick, you guys. So hold on one second. Thank you, sir. What is it? Message you have to pass on. It's time to release negativity. I felt like I needed to pull another one. So one moment. Being told. And conclusions are within reach. So I have, it's time to release negativity if you guys want to look at it. And then conclusions are within reach. One moment as I look through the book to see what this is about. Full moon in Scorpio is what it's in, 82. <clears throat> so, hmm. All right, yeah, so basically, if you're feeling like some type of paranoia or you're acting weird, take this card as a direct message from the universe to stop it because worrying yourself is pointless. It's time to release any negativity you have around this situation you're asking about. That hostility, let me pull out my cellular night one. I got a point. The hostility, y'all can't see the card because it's behind all the other cards, but you get me. Now, if someone is being unkind to you, it might be time for you just to freaking release them. 
it's time for you to feel all of your feelings that you're feeling right now because it's ex it's extremely intense so that you can release it and move on. So this is definitely like this card is definitely indicating that there's some type of nastiness in the air. Take this as a sign to move away from anyone or anything you feel is toxic. Spirit is saying you are right to have your suspicions, honey, but grudges, they're toxic. So you got to let something go. You're definitely, you know, the conclusions are within reach. <laughs> It's so funny because this card is also saying the end. This is the end of an argument. So this is confirmation that it's coming to an end. We got the full moon and eclipse. That's for that card. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon and eclipse. All right, here we go. Ninety-six. So, but this card is saying, and just like that, a door slams shut. Now, if you pull this card, it's just it suggests that <clears throat> the situation you're asking about is really about to reach a peak or has just done so. And things are now out of your hands. What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for. It's a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So allow these events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it's the right time. As hard as it might be. Forgiving someone for what they did could be key to resolving this situation. You hear that? Do I need to say it again? Because it's going to be key to resolving this situation in a positive way. It doesn't make it right what they did, but it releases you and it releases it so you can move on. These doors, they, they might slam shut. It will not reopen. But it's time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of any karma. So meditate. Get into um, that Queen of Pentacles mode. Let go of the control and let the events of this situation unfold so that you can reach the conclusion that you need to in it. And I'm going to end it on that note. All right? That's why. That's why, because something, this video was not, my computer, my laptop did whatever it did. Because something was trying to stop this message from going forward. That's what I'm taking from it. Wanting to keep this negative energy brewing. It's time to release it. All right, you guys, enjoy your week to come. Blessings.